What is web scraping? Actually, web scraping sometimes called web harvesting or data extraction, and this is a data scraping which is used to extract data from website. So this definition is coming from web scraping, but simple way, what is it? It is basically to collect data or extract data from any website or from any HTML content page. So what is the meaning of this? So basically this is a website, right? So if we want to extract the data from this website, uh, we need to uh, open and then copy paste this, this thing. But using web scraping, this mechanism or this method, we can programmatically create some program and then we can extract the content based on our requirement. So if we right click of this content and then view paste source, then we'll see that this type of content is there. So here all the text, see here all the text. Okay, so and there is some text. So basically this is HTML page okay or html code so all websites which we are seeing here i mean uh, this takes or video audio everything uh, these are coming from this html code okay for video file it is located somewhere and then it is playing and those video files in our browser but behind that um, there are some codes so basically uh, the in plain simple term the web scraping is just collecting data from websites we can collect data from website different ways we can use different tools or technologies or different programming language or if even different api or library but in this video actually we will discuss how we can uh, scrap data using python and we'll use python and besides python we need uh, some other framework to extract the data Framework means some modules or packages, something like that. So for web scraping, basically there are three methods. One is to get the data. Okay, so we will request something and then we'll get the data. After getting the data, we need to save that data. And this is first step. And once that, we need to parse the data. We need to parse uh, based on some our requirement record condition. And once we finish parsing, then we need to extract the data and that is the final step so basically for web scrapping these are there are three steps one is get the data okay once we get the data we save the data okay so this is actually a request okay we use some request to do this thing and once we get the data we need to extract and then we need to parse the data and once we finish parsing based on our preferred uh, condition or desired expectation then we can extract the data and then save it some other processes so web extraction or web scrapping is these three things one is get the data i mean get the page and then once we get the page save it and then start parsing by based on some mechanism and finally extract our required data and save to somewhere something okay so this is the wikipedia page okay so whenever we are going uh, to this website we are getting this data so this is the first step okay once we get the data then we are saving and second we need to parse suppose we want to get all this first paragraph data okay so we need to go we need to parse and then finally uh, we, after parsing we need to save this data for further uses so in this way web scrapping is working so basically uh, to do this thing uh, we'll use three libraries library one is uh, we'll use request this library this library will use to create the get query so i'm typing everything so that uh, it is useful for you later to create get query and then once we create the request then we need to process the data basically whenever we are we'll use the get query we'll get some html data then we need to uh, process that html at the time we'll use lxml library it will be used to process the html and finally once we process then we need to extract at the time we'll use b tool soup to extract the data which we already processed so using these three libraries we can easily uh, 
extract uh, i mean do a scrapping and then extract the data from html website now we will install all these three modules in our virtual environment in the previous uh, tutorial we created on folder and we made the virtual environment inside it by typing some command or by installing something now our goal is to install all these three modules inside that environment so that we can start working but if you don't have any virtual environment setup already you can check that video and create that virtual environment in your local computer otherwise you uh, in, instead of those virtual uh, environment command you can use pip3 command okay so what is the difference between this thing for virtual environment we use like some pip in env something like that and for regular environment we just use pip3 anyway uh, i will use the virtual environment and in later tutorial if i want to create some type of web scraping i will use that i will show you something like that but i prefer always to use virtual environment just use that and if you don't know just uh, check my other video tutorial how to create the virtual environment for your python development project okay so let's uh, get started now so i already opened my visual studio and then i'm going to open the terminal from click view and then terminal and once we are in the terminal we have to install uh, those three things one is the request other is lxml and uh, last one is virtual soup okay so to install anything at first we need to activate the virtual environment shell so we can activate the virtual environment shell by typing the command pip environment pip env then space shell and then hit enter key now we will install the request module by typing pip environment env env then space then install then request so by typing this we will install the request and this request is required because we want to uh, get the query we will request using the get method and once you type that hit return key to install this and it will install very soon we are seeing that it is installing and once it installed successfully will it will give us the information that it is installed successfully okay so this module is installed now we need to install on parse uh, parser that means processing the html okay so to uh, we will use lxml uh, parser actually basically okay so to process the html so to install the lxml parser you have to type the command e uh, pip environment env then space then lx uh, sorry install then lxml this command and then hit return key then it will install the electional parser so here probably i typed the wrong uh, command yes we typed the wrong command install i mistake the spelling so let me go again and then go to install fix the install spelling install and then hit return key now it will install the electional parser it is going to it is actually installing uh, see it is uh, showing in the com prompt that is it is installing and so we have to wait uh, did it, it finished install uh, so i see it is already installed now we need to install virtual soup we'll use virtual soup 4 uh, for installing so i have to type command uh, uh, pip environment then install then virtual soup virtual soup 4 okay and once you type this thing just hit return key to inst you complete the installation of virtual soup and it will take some time and once it is finished uh, then it will be uh, like that now let's open the pip file to check whether those are installed successfully or not and if you go to the pip file then you will see that request lxml and virtual all of the three packages are installed successfully and if you want to double check using the com prompt you can also type the command uh, pip env then space then lock the space then dash r and it will give you all the lists and here we are seeing that it is installed all the libraries now we are getting we are ready now let's uh, get started for our extraction in the next video we'll see how to extract from on website we'll open some sample website and from there we'll extract some type of data and thank you for watching this video in this video basically we showed you 
uh, what is wave extraction and what is wave extracting that means what is wave scrapping and then finally what are the tools or packages are required to extract data from a website by using python and we saw that there are three packages or three libraries are required on this request and that is lxml and another is virtual suit and in the next video we will use these libraries to extract the data from those website and thank you for watching the video hopefully this video will be useful for you and if you like this video don't forget to share with others and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get the latest videos from our channel thank you for watching